It's high time we address Carnival Cruise Line's problem with weed on board their ships. Plus, just imagine booking a three-year live and work on board cruise for a hundred grand, only to find out that all the employees of the cruise line you booked with have quit. And Port Canaveral just revealed new info on where they're gonna build their new cruise terminal. Let's roll the intro. To the midships channel i'm your captain corey thank you so much for stopping by the channel today it's time to get out on the high seas and wait you smell that it's definitely weed and weed is something that you might not want to bring with you on your next carnival cruise despite the wave of legalization across many states or at least decriminalization the cruise industry and specifically carnival cruise line still finds itself at odds with the cannabis on board their canna ships if you know what i mean passengers embarking on a carnival cruise in the past well they found it pretty easy to bring their little green friend with them but as of late the cruise line is coming down a lot harder on people trying to get a little bit of weed or other drugs on board carnival ships and the reason Carnival is coming down so hard on this is because technically cannabis is still considered criminal under federal law. So until the federal government, Congress, the Senate, the president can all agree that we shouldn't go to jail for a little bit of weed, Carnival's policy is probably not gonna change. And in fact, the brand ambassador, John Heald, recently shed light on how they're going to continue cracking down even harder and harder on cruisers looking to have a little bit of extracurricular fun on a carnival cruise. Heald says the cruise line will now be utilizing more drug dogs during embarkation and also during the cruises themselves. They'll be bringing the canines and the officers with them on the cruise ships. So if you think you're in the clear just because you got it on board or you think you're gonna go to the first port and bring it on, uh, think twice. And according to Heald, cruise passengers caught with a little bit of green on board will typically find themselves kicked off the ship at the very next port. Now, according to some marijuana-friendly publications, they say there's some problems with using drug dogs to sniff out drugs, specifically pot. They say there's concerns about people who are incredibly allergic to the dogs themselves, and it's potentially a major invasion of people's personal privacy. An article written in the Chicago Tribune a few years ago claimed that the drug-sniffing dogs might even follow the biases or prejudice of their handlers. But if that's the case, you probably won't have to worry about it for long because the age of drug sniffing squirrels and honeybees could be coming to a cruise near you. As researchers in China and Germany have recently published studies about the detection of illicit drugs by training honeybees or red squirrels. So it looks like man's best friend is soon to be out on unemployment here pretty soon as cannabis legalization rolls out nationwide and the dogs are replaced by squirrels and bees. Let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments down below. Have you considered or successfully brought a little bit of the Mary Jane on a cruise with you? Well, even if you can't bring a little bit of reefer with you on your next cruise, there are still some things that you can bring and you can find all of the best things in the midships Amazon store. It's the best way to help support this channel while getting something amazing and personally tested by moi for your next cruise. Check it out. There's a link in the description below. Thank you for supporting my channel. Now let's clear the air from all of that smoke we just made in the last story and head on down to Port Canaveral. Just today, they announced plans for where their newest cruise ship terminal is slated to be located. And that place is called Blue Points Marina. If you've ever cruised out of Port Canaveral and you see where the Disney ship is and the MSC ships, it's kind of in that general area. There's sort of a I hate to say it, but kind of a rundown, dumpier area right there in the southwest corner of the cruise port. No offense if your business is there. And speaking of businesses being there, herein lies the problem. There's businesses there that are going to have to be impacted if indeed the port builds another cruise terminal where they're currently doing business. And according to the CEO of Port Canaveral, Captain John Murray, he says that this new terminal wouldn't be exclusive to only one cruise line, but would serve several larger ships across multiple lines. Hint, hint, Carnival Excel class, Icon class, Oasis class, and potentially even an MSC World Class ship could all call this new $175 million terminal home in the near future. 
Well, there's trouble in paradise with Murray Cruises, as just a few months ago, their subsidiary Life at Sea Cruises announced a three-year, 130,000-mile cruise said to be the trip of a lifetime that saw some travelers even selling their homes and belongings to afford this cruise. Well, there's speculation that this cruise might not even happen anymore later this year. As one of the teams, they've parted ways with the cruise line. And this is all because apparently Life at Sea Cruises wasn't happy with the suitability of the cruise ship, the MV Gemini. Gemini is an old ship. It was built back in the 90s, but they put out some really convincing renderings of a super upscale, almost celebrity cruise line looking ship when we first talked about this. Amidst all of this potential bad news, people have already begun to speculate the cruise won't happen, so they're already canceling, asking for refunds. Now, for their part, Murray Cruise Line insists that the cruise is not canceled and they are moving ahead with their currently scheduled departure on November 1st as planned. And speaking of getting on board cruises, you can get on board a cruise with me in about 17 days on board the brand new Carnival Celebration. I'd love for you to join me for the Midships Miami Nights group cruise. There's still a couple rooms left. You know, if you can throw your bags together last minute, get packed and head down to Miami. We're going to have six nights together with me and all my best friends in Cozumel, Costa Maya, and Mahogany Bay. I'd love to have you come along. There's more info in the Facebook link below this video. You can always join for the next one, too. If you made it this far into today's episode, please make sure you get subscribed to the channel with the notification bell turned on because we know YouTube doesn't send out notices. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. And until next time, we'll see you on the midships. Have y'all cruised lately? Do you think cruises are getting just way too busy? I think every cruise I've been on lately has just been feeling almost oversold. I've seen a lot of articles written lately about this. Um, is it something that you want me to address maybe here in an upcoming episode? Let me know your thoughts and uh, I hope you have a good day. See you tomorrow.